I would expect that um, you've all got kids at different stages in, in life and you're thinking through ways that you can actually apply some of some of this truth, some of this gold in, in your parenting. And so I encourage you to think that through. Um, we'll explore that a little bit later. Who likes Red Bull? Does anyone like Red Bull? No? Can, can someone actually just come and try it for me? What does Red Bull give you? Wings. Gives you wings. Who wants some wings? Wind. No, it doesn't give you wind. Gives, gives you wings. Who wants to be my guinea pig to see if Red Bull actually does give you wings? Come on, there's got good on you, Gary. Now, th knowing you, this will keep you up tonight. <laughs> Actually, before I give it to you, though, I might just put some in a glass. You don't drink at all. Yeah. Is it? Can you taste any Red Bull in there? <laughs> yeah, I can taste something. Something. Yeah. 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 Well, you can try that. You can take that. This is what I think we've done. You can take. You can take both. You can drink whatever, or not drink at all. <laughs> we'll see if he gives him wings later. This is what I've noticed about two two different words that we often use all the time is that we've watered them down big time. And I think there's two particular words that I just want to explore with you and how we apply them. We've watered them down to a point where I don't think they're having the impact that it's designed to have. Um, and those two words are affirmation and encouragement. I think we've watered that down and we've kind of lost the meaning of, of what that is and what we do with those kind of ways that we can both affirm and encourage our kids. Um, you would know that, well, I just want to give you a definition of some of these words. If we look at affirmation for a moment, to affirm is to declare something to be true or to assert positively. That's, that's a definition of to affirm. And the outcome is actually, it's actually to be steadfast or unwavering. Wouldn't you like that in your own life? Wouldn't you like that in your kid's life? To be really steadfast and unwavering. No matter what happens around you. And Romans 8 speaks about for his spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. And, and that's a beautiful thing and it's a beautiful tool we can have in our kit, in our parenting, is to affirm our kids. It's actually to know our kids um, completely, to pick up what's actually going on about them and to affirm truth in their life. And to actually declare that over them, to speak it over them. And, and I can see even in the, in the culture that we have, we can miss that sometime, that direct affirmation. And, and what a great affirmation there that we are God's children. And even just think about my parenting, when was the last time I actually affirmed that truth over my kids? But all the other truths that exist, there's, there's truths like you would notice, even now thinking about your kids, there'd be different strengths that you would notice they'd have. There's different gifts that you'd notice they'd have. There's different characters that you'd probably seem start to rise to the surface. And for us as parents to affirm that and go, you know what, I've, I've noticed that honesty thing's a great one. You know what, I've just noticed that your honesty is really amazing. Even when the pressure's on, even when all your friends are doing the opposite, you've actually proven that you've got such a great value and character of honesty. That's affirming truth. And, you know, there, there's spiritual aspects to that, there's character aspects to that, there's value aspects to that. What's true about your kids? When you think about your kids, what have you noticed that's true about them that you can genuinely affirm so we can build a strong foundation in our kids that our kids know who they are, they know who they are in their identity, they've got a faith that's developing, a character that's developing, and they've got parents that speak into that and affirm truth. The other word is encouragement. Um, when I understood the definition of this word, it changed the way I encourage people because it's actually two words. One is N. <laughs> and that is to cause to be in. And what are we causing to be in? Courage. And the definition of courage is the quality of mind or spirit that enables a person to face difficulty, danger, pain, etc. without fear or it's bravery. 
And so therefore the word encouragement is actually two words to encourage. And I think it's our responsibility as parents to place courage within our children. That's our responsibility. It's one of our responsibilities as parents. So to encourage, I want to place courage within my kids to do whatever it is that they're called to do. The little things, the big things, I want to be that person. And here's the deal. It doesn't happen by default. <laughs> it only happens by intention, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it only happens by intention. Um, and Proverbs 10.21, uh, just a little phrase, I love it. It says, the words of the godly encourage many. Your words have so much power. And your words can actually encourage many. All of your kids, your, your partner, your, your people in your family, people in your workplace, your words can actually encourage. And the result of that is that there's a quality of mind or spirit and spirit that enables a person to face difficulty challenges as opportunities to end courage we um our, our youngest little matt he's seven i don't know if some of you know him he's in year one um and he's growing up obviously but he is such a shy little guy that that he really struggles to talking to his teachers in fact any adult if he was here today he'd struggle looking any of you in the eye and actually saying anything even hello Gary and Elliot know that, they know him. Um, and so therefore, it's my and Kelly's role to actually affirm him for who he is. And I was doing this even yesterday. He went to a soccer presentation. And he didn't cope with that, actually talking to someone who was giving him a prize even. So Matt, you're a big boy now. You're seven. You don't even sit in the car seat anymore. And therefore, you can speak like a big boy who's seven. Um, and, and actually, so we can affirm truth and we can affirm, mate, you know that you actually speak to me. I'm an adult. You can actually do it. In fact, we've got four kids. He's our loudest at home. So we can affirm the truth that he can do that, then place courage within him to step into situations and actually speak to adults. That's our role as parents. And that, I think it's a long journey ahead for our young Matt, but that's, that's our role. This is a framework of growth that I use often when I, when I speak with people. Um, if we want to live with a greater impact intentionally, we want to have a vision that this is what it looks like, this is the impact we can have, it actually starts by going deeper under the surface here and understanding who we are. And to go, who am I? How have I been gifted? What are my strengths? What's my character? Where am I vulnerable? The whole bit i love having conversations with people in this space under the surface all the stuff about me that you probably don't know but what you see it's under here it's a foundational piece it's a lifelong journey to go deeper i love affirming people there and then based on a vision actually encourage people to step out and do something based on who they are that's that's a life of greater impact and I'd encourage you, like Kylie said, for you to actually lead a life personally, to lead yourself first in things like this is key. I'm the hardest person to lead. I can, I can speak into my kid's life. Man, but for me, to lead myself, that's a challenge. And I want to do that well. So we can affirm people in who they are and encourage them to take a big step based on who they are so there's a greater impact they can have with life. Now, we can get this mixed up all the time. And even in our parenting, we want to affirm the person, love the person, like Kylie said, unconditional love, but speak to the behavior as well. Yep. So when I, I want to affirm truth and I want to speak courage and if i have to speak against some behavior i want to make sure i speak about what they're doing and not what they are yeah like i can i can say to one of my kids man you are so annoying but that's actually phrased incorrectly what they're doing is annoying who they are is actually a child of god or whatever aspect we want to explore there so 
Greater Impact is, is a framework I love to use. There's a great Bible verse in um, Hebrews 10. It talks about this. It says, Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promises. Isn't that cool? Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of good love and works, and let us not neglect our meeting together. You can apply this to family, um, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. I think one of our major roles as parents to build resiliency in our kids is to affirm truth and to encourage them to do whatever it is that they're called to do.